Well, we've all dreamed of finding that mysterious bottle at sea. Okay, bottle. Well, when you're a kid, or, you know, it washes ashore. And, yeah. yeah, well, a local guy did find something unusual, and he's trying to trace its roots. Action News' Erica Bennett has the secret at sea all noon tonight. The Beach Services Department here in St. Johns County walks along these beaches day in and day out. Earlier this month, much to their surprise, they came across something they've never encountered before. When the nor'easter blew through our area a couple of weeks ago, Mike Golubovich was at the center of it. While out searching for trapped turtles and debris, he found this nestled along the sand. I put it in the back of the truck, not thinking much of it at first. <laughs> then as I got back to the shop, I was cleaning out everything and noticed that it had some weight to it. And in fact, it may have a camera inside. Turns out it did. Using a screwdriver, Mike pried the barnacled case open and found an older model point and shoot digital camera. Uh, the batteries did not work. So I changed out the batteries, the lights came on and the camera revealed 153 photos. There were a variety of pictures, including fish, a coral reef, and several divers. The biggest clue, though, was the USSS Kitawaki, which was intentionally sunk in January of this year. With those few details and a quick Google search, Mike determined the pictures were taken in Grand Cayman Island. If this, in fact, was dropped there by a dive operation overboard, it uh, could be over an 1,100-mile journey. This isn't the first time beach management specialists have found treasure. They see plenty of bottle caps and trinkets all the time. Anything you can think of washes up. Little action figures, but um, this is the most significant find for sure. Mike plans on taking to the web to track down the camera's owner. Going forward, he says he'll stay alert and keep a constant eye on the sea. Yeah, I'll definitely be keeping my eyes out. You never know what you can find out here. Reporting in St. Johns County, Erica Bennett, CBS 47 Action News. And a local paper in Grand Cayman also picked up this story in hopes of reuniting the camera with its owner.